quite a rescue this morning in Brooklyn. A firefighter rappelling from the roof of a burning four-story building to save a man who had climbed out of a window to escape the flames. In fact, the man having to get out and think so quickly when he did get out, he didn't have enough time to put on his clothes. Both he and the firefighter lowered to the ground to safety. Yeah, it happened in the Park Slope section. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Charlesworth. Huge flames, and there were a lot of people in this building on the 400 block of 16th Street. The man clinging to a windowsill outside and holding on for dear life had somehow maneuvered over from a side window away from the apartment on fire. The man in his 20s had no clothes on. That's why we blurred the shot. It was just after 6 in the morning, and everything happened so fast there was no time to cover up. Firefighters Gail and McHugh were the ones who pulled off the roof rescue. Gail is up front. McHugh is just behind him here. He's the one who handled the rope on the roof. Tying off a roof to uh, the rope to a substantial object on the roof, lowering a member down to the window, taking the member from the window down to the ground. Not easy. And as firefighter Gail rappelled down to the victim, he talked to him to assure him and let him know what was happening. He was happy. He was thankful. He, uh, he was a little panicked there in the beginning, but once we got him, we were, we were good to go. The rescue actually happened in the back of the building. From the front, you wouldn't even know that anything happened. They had to make a lot of decisions very quickly. The firefighters say this is exactly what they trained for. Might have felt like an eternity, but uh, probably only a couple minutes. I was just doing my job. Uh, training kicked in. Gail has been on the job for seven years, and this was his first rope rescue. Neighbors were alerted by firefighters, were able to run out this morning and get to safety, but one man heard his neighbor just as the kitchen fire started. I heard someone screaming, and he said, oh, no. He and the other neighbors are glad the man rescued will be okay. He was taken to nearby Methodist Hospital with some injuries, but nothing life-threatening. But the neighbors also add that he has run into trouble in the past. They've come from him a million times to arrest them because of drugs. And every time he, he, they keep him for a little while and they let him back out. Firefighters do know this was a kitchen fire, but the exact cause is still under investigation.